bats are really amazing animals. They're mammals, just like humans. Uh, so they have their young live. They breastfeed them like humans. And one thing that I love, um, I think is really interesting, is bat mothers can find their own baby in thousands of other babies. So using s their sense of smell and, and listening for their calls, they can pick out their own baby even in a group of thousands of babies. I think that's really cool. Um, they're the only flying mammal. They're the only fa animal that, uh, mammal that truly flies. So there are some animals like flying foxes and sugar gliders and things like that that can glide, but they don't actually fly. So the only mammals that fly. They've also developed echolocation. So uh, because bats are out at night and they feed at night, they can't see the insects. They actually have really great eyesight, which a lot of people think bats are blind, but they actually have really great eyesight. But of course, when they're out flying around at night looking for insects, um, they can't really use their eyesight to see where they're going and to find their prey. So they've developed echolocation, which is uh, they use sound to, to identify their prey and also to see where they're going when they're flying at night. So that's really cool. Um, bats are uh, one of the most diverse groups of mammals on Earth. There are over 1,200 species of bats in the world. Everything from a teeny tiny little bumblebee bat that lives in Thailand that could sit on the tip of your thumb to a um, Malayan flying fox that lives in Indonesia that has a six foot wingspan. So there are bats of all different shapes and sizes and colors. Um, they eat all different types of things. There's bats that are insectivorous and they eat insects. There are bats that eat fruit and nectar. There are even some bats that eat uh, meat, they'll eat frogs and fish, things like that. Um, and there are vampire bats, although not like in the movies, they're not going to suck all your blood out. Um, there are three species of vampire bats. They live in Central America um, and they eat blood from things like chickens and cows and things like that. They eat about two tablespoons of blood when they feed, so they're not draining anything dry and turning it into a vampire cow the next day or anything like that. But they are really interesting. Um, we study bats for a lot of things in the fields of medicine and technology. We study their flight. We study their echolocation. Uh, we use that information to develop um, better ways to fly, better materials for um, wings of planes and things like that. And we also study them for medicine. So like those vampire bats, um, for example, they have a special enzyme in their saliva that helps keep the blood flowing. We've used that enzyme to create medicine to help stroke victims, actually. So um, they just have lots of really cool, um, different things about them. So I think bats are really um, fun and interesting to study, and, and I think they're cute. A lot of people don't necessarily think they're that cute, but I think if you get to looking at all that diversity and all those different shapes and sizes and colors, um, they're really beautiful animals, and, and uh, they're really beneficial to us in a lot of ways. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law, the leader of reform in legal education and a leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.